All right, so this is a mix between Ayurvedic and traditional Chinese medicine pulse reading. So in Western pulse reading, they only do a one finger or two finger pulse on the radial pulse here. It's always a measurement of the cardiovascular system, uh, rate, rhythm, contour, and amplitude, and how the heart is pumping and moving blood. In traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine, they do a three point pulse reading. And there is a superficial and a deep. And each point, superficial and deep, have, relates to an organ or organ system. There's six points each side, so there's 12 organs and organ systems. And in traditional Chinese medicine, the meridian that's associated with them. So we start on the right, superficial, which measures the large intestine or colon, the stomach, and the adrenal glands and thyroid. Okay, so the colon definitely is, it's bumping, it's working hard. So it might just be because you have food there now. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any digestive difficulties? You have slow digestion uh, or I'd fast say digestion? Uh, I'd say it's pretty normal. Like I've never really noticed an issue. Okay, good. Uh, your stomach checks out. No indigestion, no heartburn. Mm -mm. Okay, adrenal glands. Okay, they're, um, it's very faint. The pulse is very faint and quick. So um, that would suggest that you, when you move around a lot, you work hard, you do a lot. Uh, you, you have a lot of fire in your pulse too, if we're gonna get to elementals, but we'll get to that in a second. Mm -hmm. You're definitely a pitta, which is the fire sign. <laughs> and, uh, but it's, but that can aggravate your um, if you're active all the time, it could activate your adrenal glands. Do you get enough sleep at night? That's the question. Mm, I probably can get a little more sleep. Okay. Yeah, sleeping is like a superpower. Like yeah. how much healing that happens and all of the beautiful things that happen when we let our body rest. Okay, I'm going to go down to the deeper level now. Uh, the deeper level measures lung, spleen, reproductive system. Uh, lung checks out okay. You never had any asthma or breathing conditions? Nope. Uh, your spleen is, is slightly off. Uh, it's either working on something right now or just got over something. For me, uh, your pulse says that you don't get sick often, but when you do, you get sick hard. That's pretty, I would say, yeah. <laughs> like last year... In the winter time, I got sick a couple of times a lot. Uh, not a lot, like, like a couple of times, and when I did, it was a lot. Is what I mean. Like, it was just three days of me, like, feeling horribly, which I don't, that doesn't happen very often. Okay. Uh, for the reproductive system, uh, there is a steady measure on your reproductive system here. Uh, so, uh, but it's working, uh, and so it would suggest that, like in the moment right now, you're either coming up to your period, uh, like that should be soon, or or coming up to ovulation. Literally, that should have it in a day or two. Okay, um, but also, uh, also, are you on birth control? No. Okay, good. That's that's good. That means that this is a more accurate reading for you. Okay, so you, uh, so it's about to happen, and then, hold on, let me go back into it, what was the other thing? Okay, what do you, what are your menstruations like? Are they, 
Are they normal? Do you have excessive pain? Um, like the first day is super painful. It only lasts like a couple days. Okay. Um, it hasn't ever been super regular. Like, which is why I was on birth control for like 10 years. So I could at least have be regular, but I stopped taking it like a year ago. Sleep will help with that. <laughs> well, sleep and, and, uh, and looking at the moon. The left side superficial. So the left side superficial starts off. It goes small intestine, uh, no, excuse me, um, starting from the kapha pulse, uh, urinary bladder, gallbladder, small intestine. Small intestine checks out. No difficulties there. I don't see any positive problems with absorption of nutrients here. Gallbladder, okay. I'm going to go into the urinary bladder again. Uh, there is a distinct like smoothness happening here. Have you had UTIs in the past? Um, I have like not like ever regularly. Like in my life, have I had one? I had like maybe two or three ever. Yeah, that's not this. Deep. It's a measure of kidney, heart, and liver. Very strong pulses from your heart space. So a lot of that fire, passion, you know, that's all coming out here. Mm -hmm. That's good. Liver okay too. Um, the the kidney it feels like the urinary bladder too, where it's just I can't put my finger on it. Well, my finger is on it. But, <laughs> um, I can't. Uh, I can't determine this this kidney. You drink enough water. You you just stop drinking. Um, I don't know. That wouldn't affect your urinary bladder. Kidney, uh, we would go into the emotion of fear. What is your emotion associated with your kidney? Okay, we'll leave that for now. <laughs> All right, uh, now I'm going to do, uh, there is there is um, another system of pulse reading within Ayurvedic pulse readings where it's not just a superficial and a deep, but it is, uh, there's actually seven layers. Um, so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it just gets deeper and every layer mm -hmm. reveals a different set of information. Oh. So we're gonna do the layer that reveals information about your chakras. The chakra reading comes up with Svadhisthana, which is the second chakra. Um, you do have like some good healing characteristics in your hands here. Obviously, you're going to be a doctor and you want to help people with um, with psychology, mm -hmm. which is, you know, like people with, you know, it's like the redhead stepchild of medicine. Yeah. So it's chiropractic. But if anyone has it right, it's the psychologists. You know, how much are we creating in the stress? Why do people live to 100? You know, smoking and eating bacon. <laughs> it's just, it's just like, yeah. So the um the sacral chakra is about relationships, and uh, it really boils down to the relationship you have with yourself, and uh, and so the relationship is uh, I feel. Uh, as you've already, you know, you've already taken these, you've already identified this, you've already, not only have you identified <laughs> it within yourself and worked on it, but now that you're, now you're translating that 
into a medicine for other people, uh, which is pretty much just as beautiful as it gets. You know, and so this is this is hopefully what happens with with age. You know, with mm -hmm. experience. You know, you don't stuff things down. You bring them out and you um, externalize them, and uh, and you work on it and find gratitude for the bless blessings that we do have. But why are you still working on the sacral chakra? What lessons are left to be learned <laughs> with your relationship with yourself is the question. So I don't have to answer it for you because uh, you already know the answers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, so I'm just going to encourage you to keep going in that direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what it is.